is going on YouTube? We're back with another quick video. We are in the Jeep right now, headed over to Beasley Creek Knob. It's probably uh, about a two hour drive for us. It is in North Georgia and I I'll link the GPS coordinates down below in the comments if you guys want to check it out. It's supposed to be a uh, seven to eight as far as uh, the skill or difficulty level. And that's coming from the Jeep app, the Jeep Wave, uh, not the Jeep Wave, the badge. If you guys know what I'm talking about, that's where if you check in, if you go do certain trails across the, the world, actually, they're all over the place. But in North America, there's about 30 trails I think you can do. And any trail that you complete, you check in, you can actually ask Jeep to send you a cool little badge. So anyhow, we're gonna go check it out. That's the first one that we'll be doing from the app itself. And I hope to do many more. And uh, like I said, I'll link the, the coordinates down in the comments below if you wanna check it out. But it is about uh, a seven or eight in the difficulty level. Hopefully everything's open. We've had some rain and typically when it rains, they shut down part of the trail. So anyhow, let's head over to it. We're almost there. This is, uh, you're looking at the Blue Ridge Mountains right now, I believe. And we are about seven, about seven miles away from our destination. So right at a two hour drive from where I live, but beautiful area. And those familiar with North Georgia, you know where Blairsville and uh, Blue Ridge Mountains and all the cool stuff around here, so. All right, we went around the back of uh, this trail, Beastly Knob, because the gate was closed on the other side, but there was a really nice gentleman there in a truck that told us to come around to uh, 76, Highway 76, which was about a mile from there. And then he said to go uh, to Rosemary Drive. So hopefully you guys can hear what I'm talking about here, but it's kind of hard to see in the navigation. But it looks pretty nice because the gate was closed. That's one of the, the problems that we've had this summer because of all the heavy rains. You can see how the roads can easily get damaged. They've been, uh, they've been closing a lot of the gates. So hopefully this, uh, this side will allow us to come at least from the back end like you mentioned. All right, we went around back and the gate was also closed, which is super annoying because it was open the other day. So we tried what the gentleman told us in the truck there and unfortunately did not work. But as you guys can see, the gate is closed on both sides for the Beastly Knob OHV trail. So we're gonna go try to find, see what else uh, we can find on this road. But if not, we'll try to, there's several trails close by. So we'll look for something else if we can can't do anything over here which doesn't look like it all right so we're not having any luck we drove out to Davenport Mountain Trails and you can see the gate is closed too so I'm not sure what else we're gonna try at this point because I feel like everything's just gonna be closed this one happened to be close by so we drove out to see but anyhow there's a cool dam over here at uh, Notley Lake so we'll go at least check that out and then try to find another trail real quick all right, just driving over Notley Dam here in uh, North Georgia. It's pretty nice. So we could not find uh, any trail to go to. They were all closed, but we found this place, which looks really cool. This place is called Iron Mountain Resort, I think it is. And for those in Georgia, if you've been to Durham Town or if you've been to Highland Park to ride dirt bikes and side-by-sides, this is kind of similar, but he does say he's got some Jeep trails. I'll have the windows up for now because it's super dusty. But we're gonna go check this place out. It was the only thing that was open. There's some Jeep trails. So let's head in and check it out. All right, the views are pretty nice, but it is really dusty. I don't know if the camera will capture this really well, but it's nice. The dust is crazy though. It's supposed to be 140 miles of trails. 140 miles, that's a lot. All right, so this is one of the first trails. It's some nice Georgia clay, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Nothing, nothing too wild yet, but there are different different levels of the trail. We're trying to figure out the map. At least they have a map of this one. The last one we went to didn't have any sort of map. Oh, look at that. What is that, a, is that a turkey? 
He ran in while trying. All right, there. Definitely a little muddy for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, definitely getting better. Nice to have a little, a little more. God damn, son. God damn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not that mm -hmm. You can hit a couple sweet jumps. All right, the break over. Let me see if we're gonna hit it. No? Oh, pretty good. I'm surprised. I was certain we'd hit that break over angle there. Especially with the running boards. Okay, so that's a one way for sure. I don't want to go in there. Did you hear one? Side by side. That dude's got a full sand rail. Sand rail buggy. Why didn't he go the other one? He got the vehicle for it. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> you boys okay? Yeah. You bang heads? Lean to the right. We got 21 degree. And this branches though. Oh, that seat is a little bit. Did he? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I'm about to cross over like this guy did. Where did he cross over? Oh! Where did this dude cross? He's still in the middle. Yeah. Anybody coming back? Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh my god. There it is. Let's go. Woo! That would have been a good good video to catch. <laughs> I see one of those. Oh heck no. Oh, oh let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I don't have enough lift, I don't think. See, he's got about a five inch lift. Nice. That was good. That was a good one. We had a 25 degree, I think. Is that what you saw? 25 yeah, degree? Yeah. Roll on that one. I think that's, I forget what the roll map is, but that's pretty close. That is pretty close. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I hope we can go down the wrong, the wrong path. It's probably the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, I wouldn't be getting out of the Jeep if I just saw a bear. <laughs> All right, so the Jeep fam in front of us just told us that uh, they saw a mama bear in cups crossing right in front of them over here somewhere, but they've already crossed. So he can get uh so the problem with cb radios is really your reception is pretty much how high you can have the antenna yeah. and the higher the better reception it's still not going to be all that great Scratch the hell out of the paint, right? Mm -hmm. This guy right here definitely giving us a nice. Oof. 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 Okay, this guy as much as I can. Ooh. Icky, icky, icky. Let's oh, go. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at his tires. God yeah, dang, you just got a pink. Yeah, 
Holy moly. Some good stuff for sure. Some good chunky monkey. Woo! Woo -hoo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta keep that momentum going, boys. Alright, so we ended up finding a cool spot. After all, we uh, we tried Beastly Knob, we tried Davenport, and then we said we were just gonna go to um, to the falls up here, uh, Amakalola Falls, I think it's called. And there was a huge line, so you know we're like, let's try Iron Mountain. I saw it on one of the Jeep forums as a recommendation, and we drove out here. It's a park. There's 148 miles or something like that of trails. We just did a uh, met up with some uh, Jeep. Jeep guys and you'll see in the video we were following them and they went through some crazy crazy tight spots uh, we actually hit the bumper in a couple spots branches it's a Jeep what are you gonna do but uh, it never feels good as you're going through and you hear all those little branches just scratching on there but yeah look at that I think we got uh, we got some mud after all so the day ended up being totally awesome even though we couldn't get into some of the originally planned trails but we drove two hours so we weren't gonna give up that easily so Anyhow, I think we're gonna head over here and go explore a little bit more. Like I said, there's 148 miles of trails. You can't do them all in the Jeep. Some are for side-by-sides, dirt bikes, and so on. But we'll, we'll see what else we can find before uh, head back. All right, here we go, boys. It really reminds me of uh, uh, Highland Park is kind of like this. The exit was one of the most like treacherous, difficult, you know, and it was the main main service road that got you in and out. But it was like, really? This is how you exit? But I guess it's kind of a little goodbye gift as you're uh, getting out. Uh, I hope that bridge is designed. Dude, I don't know if this is for Jeeps. Wow. All right. I just want to hit anything here. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, Lordy. That is nice. That's pretty cool. Hey, hey. Okay, one more little mud. Mud hole right here. Way to exit the park for sure. I think we're in. Uh, this is definitely not a, a jeep trail. I don't know. But we're getting out this way. So this is one of the beautiful things about North Georgia right here, and, and the countryside, as you guys know. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. We had a lot of fun over at Iron Mountain Park. And again, we found it by accident because we started off going to Beasley Knob, as we mentioned earlier. 
then we tried Davenport, then we were gonna go check out Amicolola Falls, I think it is, and it was just a mess, it was close to everywhere, so. That is it for today. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe for more content that we got coming up. Hit that bell and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.